Hey sheepdogs, uh, going to uh, do the next part of uh, the reloading series on the uh, measuring out your powder. This is a uh, old style uh, analog uh, powder measure scale that is um, very popular. This one happens to be by uh, RCBS. Um, it's just what I got uh, when I bought all the stuff. I bought, uh, I bought it uh, used off of somebody what they had. I'm not promoting them over anybody else. But uh, I like these old style scales. They're um, extremely accurate. Digital scales also nowadays are very accurate, but I like things that don't require batteries or being plugged in whenever possible. That way I don't, you know, they still work when I need them to. Um, you can see this, uh, it's got a, a zero setting here. And the way this works, you just put it on a uh, flat surface and your uh, little tray here has got some weights in it and currently it's showing uh, zero, it's, that it's up above zero. I have this uh, tenths zeroed out to zero and I have this uh, the main weight here sitting on zero. So the only reason it's up above is the surface here is a little bit uneven. So it's got this little foot down here that you can spin and as I'm spinning the foot it's taking this whole body and bringing it up and I bring it up until the zero matches the indicator on the weight bar and now the scale is set at zero and I can go from there let me uh, see if I can zoom in and get you a good uh, good view of that. It's dancing around a little bit. See how it's up above? I'll go ahead and spin the foot. And to me, visually, that's zero right there may not look so much on the video but uh, that's zero and then what you want to do when you uh, set your uh, powder for usage uh, when you're trying to figure out what you need is you go ahead <clears throat> and each one of these ridges on here is 10 grains so if I wanted to do um, say I'm loading for uh, my uh, 30 odd 6 cartridge here. It's a minimum of, uh, with the powder I'm using, 52 grains, maximum of 57 and a half. So I would go ahead and take the main weight here and bring it up to the 50 mark, put it on there, and then the tenths, see that? Sorry, I don't have a, a handheld little remote. Main weight there is on the uh, 50 mark. Each one of those little ticks is uh, 10, like I said. And then over here on the tenths, you can kind of see there's individual little numbers here on this wheel. And what you do is you spin, spin this up until this indicator right here measures on the one, that's your individual number. So 50, that's 51, would be at the zero setting right here. It says 0, 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So once this main line here is on a 1 and this is at 0, that's actual 1. So that'd be 51 grains. And so on to where say 55 grains. See how that says uh, that main indicator is on the 5 and that's on the 0. Now if I wanted to do say 55.5 grains just simply spin this indicator wheel up until the 0.5 which is that number right there that line goes up underneath and that's 55 grains. And then what you do as you're measuring your powder, you add powder to here 
and when this reaches zero on the indicator you know you've got 55 grains of powder on your scale. I have mine mounted on a board as I said. Uh, what I simply do is I just take a uh, clamp and I clamp mine down right here so I can move it around. And what you do with the powder measure scale, let me spin it here so you can see it. <clears throat> this right here is your indicator. Your depth, basically. Inside this wheel, there is a hole, major hole drilled through, and the top of this, this is actually kind of like a bolt. This is kind of like a bolt, and it's got a flat head up inside. And by spinning this out, it lets the bolt drop down in the hole, and the space gets filled in with the powder that you place in through the top here. And you <clears throat> spin this locking nut out, spin this to a certain depth, lock it in place, and then you move your handle up and down. And the up position, the way that this one is set, the up position lets all the powder that's in here funnel down into the cavity that's drilled in here. And then when I mark the handle down, or move the handle down, not mark it, it dispenses out this little nipple down here into the brass case that you would use. And then you take that and you pour it on your scale and see what you got. And you keep making adjustments till you got, till it's dispensing exactly what you need. And then it's just a matter of filling each case one at a time, getting the next one and filling it. And that's how you use the powder measure and your scale to set up exactly what you need for each case. Now if you're doing exact powder measurements, like if you're loading for competition or long range shooting, then I would go ahead and just use the scale for every single one. Uh, and sometimes it says off a little bit. There is a, um, it's called a powder trickler. Sometimes you may be off a little bit. I would do about, I normally do about uh, every five. I go ahead and fill them up. And then the, the sixth one I go ahead and put on the scale and see if the weight's still the same. And if need be, have this powder trickler. You fill the powder in here and s simply just spin the handle. And what happens is individual grains fall out of here and onto your little scale tray here and you, to bring it up to the exact measurement you want. And uh, then go ahead and dump it in the case. But like I said, I do about every five and just double check it. And um, that's about it. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.